Wow! Jared Leto's new Joker look has finally been revealed! Initial images of Jared Leto as the Joker in Zack Snyder's Justice League have been revealed, and Snyder shared what his role in the movie will entail. We're going to break down the Joker's new look and explain what the iconic Batman villain will be up to in the new movie. Bring the car out. We're going for a drive. Black and white pictures of Leto's new Joker look were revealed by Vanity Fair. And the first thing you might notice is he's looking a bit more like a classic interpretation of the character compared to the version seen in Suicide Squad. This Joker features heavy white makeup, smudged eyes and lips, and greasy, stringy long hair. But the biggest difference is that there's not a tattoo in sight. Yes, the much argued about damaged forehead design is gone. Now, we'd already heard from Snyder that this Joker would have a road-weary look in his new cut of Justice League, and this version seems to be nothing, if not that. We can see that he's wearing a surgical gown and a mask hanging from his neck. Snyder told Vanity Fair that those are probably remnants of his escape into the wild. Ah, it all makes sense now. The Joker escaped, went into hiding, and had to have his tattoos removed or covered up so that no one would recognize him. Can I go, man? What the, what's going on, man? This is crazy. Blah, 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 blah. All of that chit chat's gonna get you hurt. Oh my God. On a curious note, Snyder posted the photos to Twitter with the caption, The Crown Prince of Crime, which is not quite the Joker's nickname according to the comic books. In the funny books, he is traditionally known as the Clown Prince of Crime. Either Snyder made a simple mistake, or he's hinting at a major promotion for the Joker. Snyder did tell Vanity Fair that Joker would sport a second look in the film, involving a Kevlar vest decorated with police badges, trophies that he's claimed, presumably, from the many GCPD officers who tried to bring him down. Big mistake. Huge. So, who knows? Maybe the Joker's finally won his war on Gotham and crafted some kind of badge crown. Snyder also revealed how this new Joker will fit into the movie's story. So if you'd rather remain in the dark embrace of night when it comes to your viewing of the Snyder Cut, you might want to dip out now. But if you're up for some spoilers, let's dive in. Shall we? The Joker will appear in a new sequence set on a ruined Earth after Darkseid has invaded the planet. Fans will recognize this as Bruce Wayne's nightmare vision from Batman v Superman. It serves as a sort of warning of what will happen if the Justice League fail to stop Darkseid's plans. Naturally, the Joker would rise to the top of a world consumed by chaos. It's kind of his thing. Of the Joker scene, Snyder told Vanity Fair, quote, The cool thing about the scene is that it's Joker talking directly to Batman about Batman. It's Joker analyzing Batman about who he is and what he is. That's the thing I also felt like fans deserved from the DC Universe. That is to say, the Jared Leto Joker and the Ben Affleck Batman, they never really got together. It seemed uncool to me that we would make it all the way through this incarnation of Batman and Joker without seeing them come together. And it's true, Batman and the Joker never have properly faced off within the DCEU universe, although in Batman v Superman, we saw that they definitely have a history. Now, Snyder suggests that this appearance may finally address Robin's suit of armor, which we saw hanging in the Batcave, covered in the Joker's taunting graffiti. Specifically, Snyder hinted that we might just learn why Batman had that Joker card taped to his gun in BVS. And for now, that is everything we know about Leto's Joker in the Snyder Cut. What do you think of the new look? Let us know down in the comments. Thanks for watching. We'll be back with more IGN Nows whenever something else happens, presumably soon. <laughs>